We're proud of this university and its achievements and we very much want you to be part of the future. And perhaps no better week to, to, to think about that because as you graduate and indeed as you leave the hall, you will see the next generation of UCD students uh, looking slightly nervous. Uh, but they, of course, in three, four, five years time will be exactly where you are today. Pat Kenny returns to receive from his alma mater this high honor, which formally recognizes and fully acknowledges his outstanding contribution to public service broadcasting in this country. It's a fantastic feeling uh, to be honoured by the old alma mater, but I was also tickled by the idea that in that great group of graduates this morning, there may be a Pat Kenny, there may be a Tisha, there may be an Eddie O'Connor, there may be all sorts of people whose lives are just beginning, all prompted and started by UCD, and I'm, I'm sure each and every one of them will have uh, a great adventure at least, and possibly massive success. Today we honour Owen Killian for his outstanding leadership, vision, innovation and risk-taking and for his contribution to the agri-food sector and for his immense help to agricultural science students and graduates alike at UCD. This uh, uh, class coming out today have enormous opportunity, serious challenges and nobody will hand it to them on a plate. They have to figure it out because the biggest issue for all policy makers will be food production. How do you feed 7.5 billion people, 8 billion people, 9 billion people with less resources on a planet and protect the environment and protect greenhouse gases? This is a challenge for this graduate class and uh, I really envy them. Think in an ambitious way for yourself and for your career because you are in an exciting sector that is going to provide much of the optimism and good news for this country over the next five to ten years. It will be a long time before we shall free ourselves from the fertility of his vision and the range of his influence. We have all the more reason to feel that we will never quite finish with the labyrinthine scope of his production. Of course architecture does uh have the capacity to make an enormous contribution to society. I mean, I think that what's important is the way that the architectural work is developed fully in depth and in relation to the landscape and the site. That's a very important contribution that architecture of uh, real refinement has to make. Brian McMahon is one of Ireland's foremost jurists and an exemplar of how one may bring rich talents and passions to many different spheres during a diverse and successful career. His judgments are characterized by elegance, fluency and directness, which serves to support and demonstrate the very high quality of his legal analysis. I suppose I could summarise all I have said today by quoting the couplet, which has often kept me on an even keel. There is more to life than law, and there is more to law than Blackstone. Now more than ever, uh, Ireland needs UCD to be operating on full throttle to be competing with the world's best, and we need your help in doing that. Congratulations again, well done, and please stay in touch with your alma mater. Thank you.